Hello. Now I'm going to present the five minute video clip contest presentation of my work with the Qatar University about machine learning screening of COVID-19 patients based on three images for Imbalanced Plus. And let's get started with the project contest. So COVID-19 is a pandemic that has already infected more than 30 million people and has caused more than a million deaths. And the key phase is the battle against COVID-19 in the successful detection of infected patients. And as you know, the gold standard screening method used for testing the COVID-19 patient is RT-PCR test, but it's a complicated laborious with a positive rate of only 63%. So radiological testing, utilizing chest X-ray images, would be one of the most efficient solutions in our case. But that encountered but few problems, such as the lack of radiologists and their number, which is far smaller than the number of patients, and COVID-19 to be confused with other diseases. So these problems lead to late detection, late quarantine of infected people, and less efficient treatment of patients. So computer aided diagnosis system are needed to guide clinicians and help them to take their decision. So that the proposed model combines convolutional network, transfer learning, and the focal loss function to build, to build three classifiers, which are COVID-19 versus normal, COVID-19 versus pneumonia, and COVID-19 versus normal pneumonia. In the next part, I will explain the most important key concept I used in the proposed model, which is the focal loss function. So CNN and transfer learning are commonly used to solve computer vision problems, but the concept of the focal loss is a little bit special and rarely used, and it's aimed at addressing the scenario of object detection where there is a radical imbalance between class. So let's start with the cross-entropy loss, which is equal to minus log of P of T. And while alpha balances the importance of positive and negative, for example, it does not differentiate between hard and uh, easy example. Instead, it's proposed to reshape the loss function to downweight easy example and focus the training on hard negative by adding the moderating factor to the balanced cross entropy loss to finally obtain the focal loss function, which is equal to the cross entropy loss multiplied by weighting factor multiplied by moderating factor. After shedding the light on the key concept, let's see now how the proposed model was built and the results I get. So this table summarizes the distribution of images into training, validation, and test set. As for pre-processing, we can say that VG16, ResNet50, ResNet201, and Inception are the four pre-trained models used. Also LMS follow-up with 0.85 momentum, 10 mini by size, and 10 fold cross validation were used in our model. Uh, regarding the focal loss impaired parameters, we set the pair alpha gamma as 0.25 to as in routine and detect. Let's present now the model, out, the model outcomes and it was observed that VG16 showed the best performance for COVID-19 versus, uh, versus normal classifier and produces the and produce the highest accuracy of 99.88%. But ResNet gives the best performance for the two other classifiers and was performed with the highest accuracy of 99.18% for COVID-19 versus pneumonia classifier and 99.80 for COVID-19 versus normal pneumonia. Uh, after identifying the best pre-trained models, uh, using a fixing pair of alpha gamma, now we will use two techniques to enhance the performance of the model which are image remontation and during the photo loss hyperparameters. And let's start by uh, the pre-processing before using image remontation. We made use for remontation strategy, which are rotation, image translation, scaling, and uh, range shifting. Then the class containing the maximum number of images, which is bacterial pneumonia, will be used as it is, and the other class will be augmented to reach about 2,500 images. For, uh, for us, the pre-processing before tuning the focal loss EPET parameters, at first, gamma will be varied in the interval 0.5 for fixed alpha equals 0.25, and alpha will be varied in the interval 0.1 for fixed gamma equals 2.2. And those curves present the variation of accuracy using the validation set. Then let's present the results. And uh, we are going to start by results after, two, after using image demontation. It was observed that the model produced an accuracy of 99.88 for COVID-19 versus normal classifier, 99.51 for uh, COVID-19 versus pneumonia, and 99.60 for COVID-19 versus normal pneumonia classifier. 
So the performance metric was significantly improved for two classifiers, but lowered for the third classifiers, which is cognitive versus neural pneumonia. As for results, after tuning the focal loss impact parameters, it was observed that the model achieved an accuracy of 99.92% for COVID-19 versus normal classifier, 99.39% for COVID-19 versus pneumonia, and 99.98% for COVID-19 versus normal pneumonia classifier. And the performance metrics it's almost achieved perfect results. So thank you for your attention.